people understand the depths as a dangerous air, we could possibly lose your character forever. When you die twice, you're sent down there and you're stuck with horrors beyond your imagination. How could the likes of a level one freshie ever hope to compete with a 15 feet tall monster that could bite you in half way too easily? Well, you can't. So naturally, someone had to do something about this. And the divers, a group of researchers often located inside the depths, acquire information and fight these monsters in the hopes to defeat them for good. Among the divers are the highly esteemed and powerful black divers. To get an accurate skill on how different they are from regular divers, if it will take three regular diver journeymen to defeat a regular monster, then divers, black divers, would be equivalent to at least a hundred plus of them combined. These black divers have their own goals, so much so that they could even end up fighting each other, and they utilize the song to an extent that they can acquire intangibility. What would happen if you ever fought one? Well, you'd know the answer to that already if you've been to Lair 2, but why would you end up fighting them? Why? Interactions between divers and other players rarely end in the player ever being killed, excluding Chaser. The most violent interactions between a black diver and players has most likely been Akira. Akira is a black diver recognized for his dangerous ability to kill anyone almost instantaneously as seen with his interactions with the diver's enemy, the Ignition Union. However, he can coincidentally kill anyone who aligns themselves with the Ignition Union if you pick his dialogue option. But why would he stop at the Ignition Union? The divers have been known to interact with the authority in a positive way, so does, does that mean uh, that they hate Atreya as well? The cast a light base of the divers is known to exclude other players if they enter the depths without a soul. It's a, it's a sort of anti-dead barrier for the dead. Not only that, they will actively insult wanderers who stray too far inside to further give you an idea on how they treat outsiders. Claris, the mother of lights, noted as one of the strongest divers will actively avoid conversation with you if you are in any sort of danger and this extends to members of her own guild as well. If you are to compare your interactions with the divers with any other faction, they have the most violent interactions by far. And to add to that, they have a somewhat relationship with the authority, giving them information that they discover from the depths as a main goal. And we know that the authority aren't very good in terms of alignment, uh, more of a chaotic good, I guess. Although none of the factions in Deepwoken can be even be considered purely good, the divers are, are far from the top and they can't be considered the best. 